I'm going to every NBA stadium in one year to see who has the best and worst stadium experiences. And the first stadium on my journey is the Washington Wizards Capital One Arena, located in the heart of Washington DC's Chinatown district. We are here. Capital One Arena in Washington, D.C., let's get it. Tickets were just $31 each, but that's for absolute nosebleeds and for a game that didn't matter at all. Honestly, I think tickets shouldn't have been more than $15, and especially for the last row. So I'm gonna give pricing a 6.1 out of 10. And to compare these stadiums, I'll be ranking each stadium based on pricing, food, aesthetic, entertainment, and vibe. So stay tuned to see what the final score is and follow to see where it compares to every other NBA stadium. We entered the main concourse and immediately found a concession stand selling pizza cupcakes. What even is that? We will get there later. We're excited for that. And then we found out that Wait, there's just a Regal Cinemas right here Plus this popcorn stand that looked so freaking good And it smelled good too, trust me And then we finally took a look at the court Honestly, nothing really special Just a standard NBA landscape Factoring in on the outside of the stadium And the inside concourse area It's pretty plain and kind of boring So I'm going to give the stadium aesthetic a 3.2 out of 10 And this little section behind the hoop looked pretty interesting So we decided we would make it our goal to get inside of that Stay tuned to see if we did it And they were charging $5.59 for a water bottle And honestly, I'm excited to see how that compares to all 29 other NBA stadiums. This place called Box Free Taste actually looked very good, but that's until we found someone who just ordered them and he said, Is that box, is that box yeah. free? They also cost $30. Jeez, $30 for that? That's tax. That's tax. Oh my God. Man, that sucked. But seeing the Larry O'Brien championship trophy was kind of cool. And we found this countdown too. I like this. This is good. Very helpful for fans to know when to grab their seat. But so far, the stadium wasn't really great. Pretty mediocre, to be honest. So we went back to our seats, caught the national anthem, the tip off, but then realized. You can't see the, the entertainment. So we decided to ditch those seats for good and try to get into that courtside bar for the next time we wanted to watch the game. We found peach cobbler tacos, which was basically just sugar in a taco shell for $17? Yeah, that's clipped. Just like the fact that there was literally no one wearing a Wizards jersey there. The editors are gonna be like, why is this in the Wizards folder? There's only Celtics fans here. It's crazy! Man, the fan atmosphere in DC is so lame. I ended up having more fun unsuccessfully sliding down the railing in the staircases than I did watching the game. There was also this cherry blossom pop-up shop and I actually ended up buying something. And with my Capital One credit card, by the way, this isn't sponsored, I got 10% off. Is there a 10% off with the Capital One card? Thank you very much. Have a great day. Let's go! Here's my corny transition that I thought would look cool. Guys, please comment. Wow, very cool, Justin. Make me look cool. Thank you, please. Anyways, the district donor it looked literally so unhealthy, but I'm sure it tastes pretty good. Halftime arrived and it was a bit compact in there. Again, the vibe wasn't great. I'm gonna give it a 1.7. But now it was time to try the pizza cupcakes and really make sure you have your 10% off with your Capital One credit card. And thank God I had that 10% off because the three pizza cupcakes were $15. What? Alrighty, cheers. That cheese is good. That clearly wasn't enough and I was still hungry, so we went to Swizzler for a burger and get this. This is $12.79. The pizza cupcakes, $13.59 for like 400 calories. This one, like 800 calories for a dollar less. Half of the one, what happened? After a few minutes, we secured the burger and walked in at a good time because it was t-shirt toss time, everyone's favorite. But man, was that lame. They had no t-shirt cannon and only like two dozen shirts to go around that they were just throwing. I can almost guarantee that other stadiums will be much better than them at that. And all the other entertainment was really nothing special at all, so I'm gonna give that a 3.5. The burger was all right. How's it work? What's the score, Justin? It's not that well cooked. The sauce is all right. Not, not that good. And after sitting down, we realized that the courtside bar area was in sight. So we decided we were going to try and walk in because it was the fourth quarter and surely security doesn't care anymore, right? Here we go again. Well, I was wrong. But my videographer, Ethan, was able to sneak in right before I got stopped. Somehow she didn't see him, but she saw me. Yeah, okay. He got some sick footage of some classic shoes while in there, and honestly, we really just wanted the footage for you guys, so that's a W in my book. We went back to our quote-unquote seats, and the Wizards won. And then the MVP of the night did his little post-game interview thing, signed a ball, and threw it right at us. So Man, Ethan was so close there, jeez. And do you remember that little movie theater that was connected to the stadium? Yeah, so we decided, let's go see a movie at the movie theater. I thought I was supposed to be at a basketball game. Oh no, I gotta leave. I can't see this trailer. I can't, I can't. 
I gotta leave. I gotta leave. Just kidding, it was 10 p.m. and we had a four hour drive back to Penn State. But on our way into the theater, we found this little NBA 2K League tournament thing, which was actually kind of sick because they were broadcasting live. And that was pretty cool, but not as cool as going into a movie theater that's literally inside of an NBA stadium. Yeah, that's definitely major bonus points for the stadium, which honestly didn't have much going for it. And now it's time to score the stadium to see if it's worth going to and see how it compares to all 29 other NBA stadiums over the next year. And I know call to action seemed to dip retention and you guys typically swipe away right now, but I would advise you to follow so that you don't miss an episode. All right, so for our final ranking of a Washington Wizards game in Washington, DC, pricing 6.1, food 4.7, aesthetic 3.2, entertainment 3.5, and vibe 1.7 out of 10 for a final score of 19.2 out of 50, which puts Capital One Arena in first place, but I have a feeling that that won't last for long. Next up as well as Fargo Center, follow so you don't miss it. The guy on the guitar. Four hours later, he's still shredding. You can't even hear me. He's crashing.